Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. It's been a hot minute. In fact, it's been two weeks. I'm sorry. I've just been gone. I haven't filmed any- Well, I mean, I filmed one video. It's gonna come after and that's before my bleach blonde hair. That video will come out next time. Right now, I'm gonna do a uh, reading update. And, sorry for the lighting, my ring light decided to not work anymore. So I'm in my sister's room and I'm using her big window and be like this for a bit, but bear with. Oh, hang on, bear with, bear with. <laughs> bear with. <laughs> well, I've been currently reading three books. First book I'm gonna talk about is called Paint by Colin Brooks, or it's Colin Brook. Yeah, I'll post a picture right there. Uh, this is about a, anyways, this is about drag queens and how this main character is going to be a drag queen and his life and it is so good. I'm like a hundred and something pages in and I am loving it. I have to thank Raul for this because he's the one that posted it and told me about it and I was like, it's a must read and as you all know, I love drag queens. I would love to go to a brunch one day to see anyone. Literally, I mean, anyone. But yeah, this book is good. It is really good so far. Um, I'm loving it, like McDonald's. <laughs> and plus, I mean, the cover is amazing itself. I'm reading this in the ebook format, which I hardly do unless it's manga, but you know, I'm getting used to it. Alrighty, the next book I am currently reading is The Duke and I by Julia Quinn. We all know what this is about. <laughs> it's a Netflix show. Now, um, that is the reason why I picked it up, is because it became a Netflix show and it's being popular. I usually don't read historical romance. I think that's my older sister. I think she's the one that reads historical romance, if I remember. We both read romance, but like different types of romances. But I'd hardly pick up historical romance. And I did watch one episode, and from the trailer, it looks so good. And it's like, I don't know, since they published the trade paperbacks, I love the covers for the trade paperbacks. I already bought the second book. I'm 156 pages in. I'm slowly reading it though, it's nothing too fast, but here's the covers for the rest of the series. Isn't that nice, the trade paperbacks? But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I know they changed some things, I think, on the show, from what I remember. Anyways, I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I feel like though, I would prefer to read this when it's not summer. Yeah. Anyways, the next book I'm reading is Fifty Shades of Darker. This is the second book of Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy series because Grey's companion novels. Anyways, so I read the first book, or I'm actually listening to these in audiobook, and I listened to the first book for the hell of it because I'm like, I have the books, might as well just read it. And the first book wasn't great, but it wasn't as bad as people were saying. I'm going to do a review about it. I did read most some of this before it even became popular. I remember I read it online in 8th grade. No idea what it was about. I just heard about it somewhere. Because I didn't discover booktube till I was a freshman. So I don't even know how I found, found this book. Um, the first book. But anyways, um, I am 240 pages in. 50% I think. And this is a step up to me, for me. Because I know a lot of people do like the first book. From the first book. I... Do you have issues with some things? But honestly, from what I read from the first book and reading this one, it's really not as bad as people are saying because I know everyone knows about this book having graphic sex. Um, I guess I, I, the BDSM aspect is kind of low. I don't know. I think it's because what I've read of other romance eroticas that I find this not to be a big deal. Um, although I do agree with some things where people like this isn't BDSM. I I will talk about this in my review of the first book. I do have a lot of thoughts. I do think this one so far is better than the first one. I feel like there's... I don't know why people complain about Anastasia. I mean, I can see why. But when people say she's so weak, she has no idea what's going on, that's bullcrap because she has... She knows what's going on. She's. I think she is a pushover, but she's not dumb. She knows exactly what's going on. The dialogue in here isn't that great so far, but you know what, I'm having fun with it. I'm not really taking it too seriously, and I mean, I don't think anyone should really, because it is a fanfic of Twilight, and it's not even a big deal. I mean, Christian Grey is still not my favorite, I do not like him. 
Anastasia does. I don't know why, but you know what? That's her preference. That's her, what she wants. I'll tell you a lot more thoughts about this in my review. But yeah, um, I'm really enjoying it. I don't, I don't know. This cover's not for me though. I like the covers, but this one, eh, it's only in like one part in the book. Anyways, but yeah, that is my update. Sorry, this is kind of fast. I'm trying to record more videos right now, but yeah, and yeah, I'll be back. I am back officially, I assume, with my bleach bond hair. Yeah. So I hope everyone has a great, amazing day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.